Hello, my name is Norman Reiser, and my life is all about traveling and fishing. And I would like to give you guys a short view of the nature and especially what kind of fish lives in rivers and lakes in different parts of our planet. This time, Machaca, a piranha of Central American rivers. Today we are in Nicaragua, on the Rio San Juan, which connects the Caribbean with Lake Nicaragua, the biggest lake in Central America and the 16th biggest in the world. This river is 192 kilometers long and goes straight through the jungle along the border of Costa Rica. The Rio San Juan is not really popular because it takes a long journey to get there. The only way to get there is an 8 hour bus ride from Managua, the capital of Nicaragua, or a 12 hour boat ride from Isla Umetepe on Lake Nicaragua to San Carlos, which is located right in the beginning of the river, towards the Caribbean. Here in this remote area of Nicaragua, you have the best chance to get a view into the culture, nature or wildlife of Nicaragua. While the border to Costa Rica is going along the river, this area is still patrolled by military to check for illegal immigrants. These rapids you see here are a great spot to fish for machaca, the piranha I was talking about earlier. The machaca likes fast water, similar to trouts or salmons. They hide behind stones and when something like little fish comes along, the machaca comes out of his hiding spot and gets the fish. So, the easiest way here is casting with a spinner, 4 to 8 grams. What I found here they are like orange or red colors. Why? I will tell you guys in a second. But the machaca is a fish from the piranha family and likes to hunt, but he is no danger for humans. His teeth are toothy and similar looking to human teeth, just a little bit sharper. He said this common method, there's also one other way a local showed me while I was fishing the Rio San Juan. He was just using a 20 meter fishing line connected to a hook and a spade he used a palm fruit which is 2 to 3 centimeters big, a kind of a nut but with a softer shell. The fruit is really heavy so if you have to throw your bait far out it's no problem. The machaca is a strong fish and a really good fighter. And he can grow up to 70 centimeters and weights up to 8 pounds. The best way to catch one of those is cast fishing with a rapala, spin fishing in the rapids, or fishing with live bait. The machaca really loves these palm fruits. And the palm fruits are red and orange. That's why I guess they like the red and orange lures. Some of those palm trees grow close to the river and the fruits fall into the water while the fish are feeding from. This fish is not the best fish to eat because of his hundred tiny little bones in his body. The only ways to eat that fish is to make a soup or to deep fry the whole fish so you can eat the tiny little bones as well. Beside the machaca, many other fish like muhara, rainbow bass, snook, lizard fish or catfish live in the Rio San Juan but also bigger fish like the alligator gar, 
a prehistoric fish which can reach up to a size over 3 meters. But the biggest game fish here is the tarpon, a really strong fish which grows over 2 meters and weighs over 300 pounds, and one of the strongest freshwater fish in the world, which is also able to live in salt water and fresh water. He is hard to catch, a boat and special gear is necessary. Around 10 years ago, also two other fish species were really common, which is the sawfish, a prehistoric fish which can reach a size over 5 meters, and the bull shark, which lived year round in the river and the lake Nicaragua. But overfishing brought it so far that now the sawfish and the bull shark are almost extinct in these waters, and locals haven't seen one in years. But I believe they are still there, and I hope that these creatures will come back. Sometimes we should just stop thinking about money and instead think more about our planet we live on. Thank you very much for your patience and I will be back with another documentation.